Hi, this is Colin from Gigabyte. Most of us probably have at least one or two devices that use USB to charge the device. That's why a few years ago, Gigabyte has done a couple of pretty unique technologies that allow users to actually get a quick charge from their USB ports on their Gigabyte motherboards. Now, one of the first technologies we, we developed was the 3x power. So we've been able to provide up to three times the amount of power that a traditional USB port is able to provide. So for example, a traditional USB 3 port will provide up to 0.9 amps of power. Well, Gigabyte's motherboards are able to provide up to three times that. Now, we've also done some other things with the USB ports, like we've added independent fuses for each of the ports, and we've also widened the trace paths for the power to each of the ports, and that's how we're able to provide more power. Another technology that we developed about two years ago was called on-off charge. Now, on-off charge is a hardware and software solution that allows users to charge their mobile devices even while their PC is turned off. Now, for most people, uh, charging their device on a USB can be quite slow because a traditional port, like I said, off-puts less power. Well, on the Gigabyte motherboards, because we have 3x power and on-off charge, we're able to actually charge your device almost as if you would uh, by plugging it into the wall. That's why in the past we've showed quite a few videos showing different devices that are able to charge, like the first generation iPad, the second generation iPad. So today I wanted to show you, um, with some of the recent media reports out there showing that the new iPad is having some problems charging, uh, I wanted to show you that our Gigabyte on-off charge is actually able to provide enough power to charge your new iPad using a Gigabyte motherboard. So in front of me here, I have a new generation iPad, or the third generation of iPad. As you can see, the, the Retina display is much clearer than the previous generation. But as you can see, we have got 10% of battery charge. So I'm going to just dismiss, dismiss this. And I've got my uh, charger, and I've also got on-off charge on this Gigabyte Z77 motherboard. What I've done is I've attached a power meter to actually show us how much power draw is being delivered by the, the USB port. So I'm going to plug this in. As you can hear, the iPad is charging. And we're showing 1.97 or 96 amps. So that's actually delivering a lot more power than a traditional USB port will deliver. As I said, 0.9 amps is a traditional USB 3 port. So this is actually quick charging this device, almost as if it was plugged into the wall. So now I'm going to show what happens when we actually shut the PC off. So I'm going to unplug and shut down. And we'll see if this uh, iPad will actually charge with the PC turned off. So my PC is now turned off. I'm going to plug it back in if I can. And as you can hear, the iPad is charging, and we're charging at about 0 0.94, 0 0.95 amps. So there you have it. Gigabyte's motherboards can support on-off charge with the new iPad. So we've just announced our full series Z77 uh, motherboards. They'll all support Gigabyte on-off charge, and as well as our previous generation of motherboards will all support charging of the new iPad 3.